Alright guys, so we're about to take our first sample together. So let's just do this. There, just click the switch. And as you can see, this is the point where we went full throttle. Uh, I hijacked the gimbals to have it through a switch, which goes just instantaneously full throttle, so we don't have any variations with the outputs. And as you can see, this one you can kind of clearly see where it changed. And it seems that it's changed right there, so that's actually, I think that's pretty quick. So let's go ahead and check this real quick. All right, so let's just check the frame before the full throttle. And we are looking for the third packet, as you can, the fourth, sorry. As you can see, so one, two, three, four, it's still big here. So let's just zoom out now. We were on this packet before, so the second packet also seems that the one two three four is still big which means it's zero throttle and let's go to the <coughs> second packet after full throttle one two three four as you can see it's gone smaller so this is the point this is the frame that just came in that had full throttle so it's right there so let's go ahead and measure that real quick and see what it comes up to so that's, that's actually pretty quick um, or I think it's pretty quick well, the first sample here is 25.8 milliseconds. However, some people, like I say, might want to do this on the beginning of the frame after, but I like to do it on the, right on the frame that's coming in with the data, which is uh, 25.8 milliseconds. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take 10 samples, and I'll, they will be in the Excel sheet. I will take screenshots of these. For example, this is the first sample here we've gotten. All right, and we're just going to say print. Alright, here's our first sample, E1, good. So let's go ahead and redo this a couple more times. Alright guys, so this was the last sample I took. I took a, 10 samples here and this was the, the 10th one that I off that on right now. Now there's something to take note of. The best sample was 11 milliseconds. It is pretty quick, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty fast. However, there's something to take note of. Uh, for example, here we went full throttle as you can see this line. And this is one of the packet that's bringing in the new data. But while it's coming, if, if it hits full throttle after 70% of the packet, then uh, it wouldn't change on the packet right after. It'll, it'll skip frame and change right after. However, if we hit this full throttle around here, then the next frame would have the new full throttle value. So it just depends on where you hit it throughout this packet. But it's, it's very quick. I think this was the worst sample I've gotten, which is 27.7 milliseconds. And um, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and look over the data, make up the Excel sheet. I forgot to upload it last time. Uh, upload it and then uh, just come back and then we're going to see uh, how it compares to everything. So, all right, guys, just give me a moment. I'll be right back and we just take a look at it. All right, guys, so is it fast or faster? Yes, it's fast, but it's not the fastest. So let's go ahead and take a look at this graph here. Um, this was tested on the Crossfire protocol just, just to clarify that. Now we have installed it on the Horus X10 and uh, we're going to be just kind of checking out how much of a difference we got here. So as you can see we have three groups of graphs right in front of us and uh, the lower the bar the better because the lower the bar means the lower the latency and that's what we want here. So the green is the Crossfire, the yellow is the FR Sky Horus X10 and those two smallest graphs which are the orange and gray are basically the fly sky and eternity evolution and they're, they're still dominating this graph it's just insane all right so let's start with the worst sample here the worst sample for the crossfire was 27.7 which is pretty good it's two times faster than the worst sample of the horus x10 and uh the where is it the qx7 and the spectrum so it, it, it does make a huge difference on the fr sky uh, transmitters however as you can still see on the worst samples you got Eternity Evolution, the fly sky, still kicking everyone's butt. Alright, let's go to the best sample, which is the middle group here. So, the green is the crossfire, and it's 11.7 milliseconds, which is pretty insane, actually. Um, this is the first time something actually beat the Eternity Evolution, because Eternity Evolution is 11.8. So, the crossfire here on the best sample was 0.1 milliseconds faster than the Eternity Evolution. However, the fly sky still beats everybody. Uh, it's 6.4, so it's just about half times faster than the crossfire and the turnage evolution. But don't forget, this is just the best sample. So, um, yeah, we, we need to look at the average and to get a proper uh, reading here. Now, as you can see on the yellow 
uh, bar, it's the FR Sky Horus X10, which is the, which are where the Crossfire is installed right now, and uh, it is 26.2, so it's more than half times faster on the best sample uh, with the Crossfire installed. So it is fast, but it's not the fastest. All right, let's go to averaging. All right, so average, um, the Crossfire averaged at 19.51, which is very good actually, because the Horus X10 by itself averaged 31.53, so it's not half times faster, it's, it's, it's around, maybe we could say 70% faster, or is it, yeah, 70, no, 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 70, sorry, around 30 to 40% faster than the Horus without the module, so it does make a huge difference there, this is the average, don't forget. And um, as you can see, we have the average of the Fly Sky and the Turnigy Evolution, which are the orange and gray. Uh, they're still by five to yeah five to six milliseconds faster than the Crossfire. So it's not the fastest, but it's competing with the Turnigy Evolution and the Fly Sky's latency, which is just insane. The cheapest. Um, the cheapest transmitter are the fastest transmitters. And um, just looking at this, so there's something to take note of. If th these results are possible with the Crossfire, then it's possible with the SBUS protocol. Um, if basically because when you give an input, it's passing that input right to the PPM uh, pin right here. So the input is actually getting registered a lot faster, but why is it taking forever to send that signal on the default SBUS signal, which is the reason why I don't understand why. This is why I think it's a latency, it's a software issue. So if, if FR Sky could actually look into this and make it better. Um, there would possibly be no need for TBS Crossfire unless you wanted range, but other than that, you wouldn't really need it for latency. It should be able to compete if it's hitting 11.7 uh, milliseconds on the best sample. This doesn't make it faster, this just sends it faster. So it processes the signal faster. So in here, you know what I'm going to do actually next test? We're actually going to test from uh, the point of full throttle but on the PPM signal here. And then we could actually know how fast it is and why is the SBUS protocol making the extra latency, uh, which I don't see a really need for, but I could be completely wrong here. But this shows that these are capable of a lot more, it's just the software is lacking. And well, that's it guys, well that's going to click for this video. So it is faster, it's not the fastest, but it's pretty fast. Uh, it's almost double, two times faster than a normal FR Sky transmitter which is very good and which is why people are paying for this stuff so that in that perspective it's true and it, it's it's real and this was based on 10 samples and I'll have all my findings in all my screenshots of the oscilloscope and everything in an excel sheet I'll leave a link down below the link might be a couple hours late until I prepare it and set it up for you guys so Crossfire is fast but not the fastest however you know where we're I mean it still has long range and good penetration from what I hear I've not tested it just yet but we will I'm building a long range quad and we'll see how good this works and well that's it guys so I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and I will see you next time see you guys take care